do a reading for Libra. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. I hope you're having a great day so far, Libra. <laughs> it's still going. It might be because of the fan. Um, if you're not, I hope your day gets better. I think we are going to start... We'll start with the fairy Lenormand. If you haven't seen Lenormand before, there are fewer cards than the tarot, 36 versus 78. Uh, with this particular one, there's a fairy theme, but you have a playing card at the top and then regular, um, regular old drawing at the bottom. And I read these in pairs. So, what do we have for Libra, please? We have the man and the fish. Some masculine energy here is very fixated on someone that he sees as very lucky, stable, or successful, and that he has love for. Must really well, please. Then we have the bouquet and the bear. The letter B might be important. So I feel like There's been some change here in perspective for this masculine energy. I feel like there was something here that this masculine energy perceived as breakable or naive, replaceable. But they saw this person on the exterior and didn't really see the interior. And I think now this masculine is seeing that this probably feminine energy is much stronger than they expected to find. They found that this feminine energy generates her own happiness and success and doesn't need other people. But with the bear looking the direction that it's looking, I think there's still some there's still some connection here, right? Because this bear is basically the feminine energy, and they're both looking. Not yet. Let's do. We use the Edgar Allan Poe deck. We have the Libra, please. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. There's something slow moving about this masculine energy. There may be a desire to have something stable or long term here, but There's something reckless or naive about this masculine energy. I feel like there's something here about him not really being able to look at this feminine in the eyes.
This is so weird. Okay, so like, <laughs> the sunflowers don't have eyes. I get that they're not people, but the sunflowers, they're all pointed towards the masculine energy. And they're making me feel like they're microphones. Like everybody's waiting for this masculine to say something. And when it comes to that time where he has to say something, he like does so, God, who was it? Like Michelle Bachman, when she was doing that interview and she was looking like one foot to the side of the <laughs> camera. Like, I just feel like this guy is like slow moving because he's really nervous. But the sun is the happiest card in the deck, so there's something here about, like, you make this masculine happy if you're this feminine energy, or there's this energy to this uh, feminine who, like, basically, there's just, like, positivity that just emanates from her, right? But this masculine feels left out in the cold, or not able to access the inner social circle of this feminine right now. I feel like the separation has been has been divine protection, possibly for both parties. I think there was a lot of healing that had to happen for both of these people. And there's been a lot of change in terms of luck and perception for both. But this masculine energy is admiring the feminine for her strength, because we have strength coming out again. This feminine could have Leo in her chart. The other um, connotation, of course, with the strength card is we tend to have like a beast that is being tamed, right? Got a, a lion there, and she's, she's riding him. <laughs> she's not normally riding the lion, but in this one she is. Um, I think this feminine energy has kind of tamed a bit of a wild boy. We have justice coming out. The strength for this feminine energy has continued to grow or expand, and I feel like it's caught attention of a number of different people in terms of people who had underestimated her, and she didn't let that stop her. We have the two of swords in, I would say, kind of in sideways mode here. So I feel like this is somebody who has had trouble making a decision or had trouble feeling like they had all the information. So this could be, I mean, we know there's an air sign involved here, right, Libra? But this could be somebody who also has air in their chart if you are not identifying with the masculine energy. And this person has felt like whatever plan they put in place to try to fix the situation was not, it didn't work. Or they didn't have a plan and that didn't work. <laughs> Something here failed. So there may have been like a step backwards for this masculine. For some, this is like four steps backwards. We have the page of swords in the reverse, clarifying the five of pentacles. Um, somebody has been blocked. Probably the masculine. Um, there is definitely some online watching or monitoring like I think this masculine's a little bit obsessed here and I think this feminine figured out a way to kind of like close the door a little bit on that we have the seven of cups in the reverse part of this feminine's strength is her ability to see through the mind games that this masculine or other people have tried to send her way she doesn't get confused easily We have High Priestess and Ace of Pentacles. 
doesn't get confused easily. High Priestess. She sees shit. She knows what's going on. Uh, and with the Wheel of Fortune, this could end up with the feminine energy getting good fortune and the masculine getting bad fortune, depending upon how he approaches the situation. We'll get some clarification here with the situation stuck. So we have to leave with these. There is a pause or a break on this situation currently. I think I had mentioned somebody's probably ghosted or blocked. It could be both. But the Divine Feminine is definitely a play here, so she could be looking to move to a different city or state. That sun and sunflower theme keeps coming through, so there could be somebody here who really loves sunflowers, but in general, I just think this Divine Feminine is somebody who gets a lot of attention because the positive energy is kind of like addicting for people. We have the Justice card with Settlement landing on top of it, but it was kind of sideways, so I feel like somebody here is working to finalize some sort of agreement it could be selling a house, it could be ending a relationship, but there is justice coming as a result of that. There could be a pause right now because we have uh, financial concerns, but this divine feminine is seen by this masculine as their soulmate. We have entrapment sideways. So I feel like this Divine Feminine is maybe needing to save some money before she can finalize this move. And that this Masculine also feels like he can't really make his move towards the Feminine because of finances. This could be because of a settlement that was more favorable for their ex. Uh, and I think their relationship ended because somebody was unfaithful. Right, um, let's get down and dirty with the kipper, shall we? I want to know, who is this masculine? Can we trust him? Who is this masculine? <laughs> Hidden energy, false person. So either this masculine was married to a thief that had some sort of position of power that they abused, or they themselves are the person that abuses their position of power. Who is this masculine? We have gift coming out, so let's get a little bit more on that. Why is gift here? I think this masculine manifested you and sees you as a blessing. This is pretty similar to what came out in the Aquarius readings. So you might want to check that out. We have 
message of concern. So this person may have a message they send you regarding their previous relationship because it does look like they were married or in a relationship with a real peach. Um, just be careful, use your discernment. Because for some of you, this person is the dishonest person, and for others of you, their karmic or their previous significant other is the thief. And I don't want you hanging out with thieves, you know what I mean? We're so different. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. So you could be from different races or religions or some sort of culture where maybe external um, people like friends or family are a little bit less accepting. Or like an age gap. You deserve the best and I respect you. I want to do the right thing. Uh, that's a pretty good indicator though, you guys. So much has happened between us in the past. Can we work through it again? You are the one, the only one. All right, Libra, I hope that clears up some questions for you. Uh, if not, I mean, hey, I do personal readings, so feel free to hit a girl up. <laughs> Or throw me some likes or subscribes, whatever, I appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.